and on the top lane, Lisa will stay around to help Nisha out a bit. And I mean on a Legion Commander, you can... Alright, what just happened? Slark got... Yeah, Slark got Mirana new comboed. Beastmaster with the boar as well. Mistakes were made, now Exotic Deer dropping as well. Everybody dropping in a couple of seconds. I mean, Magnus, he's a strength hero, so he can... He can basically get killed from one third of his health by a Timbersaw, and... Come on, three kills in a row and I miss all of them. Great. Cooldown on the wording depth. You can get three stacks of it up. Alright, now we're going to see Lish Lizash die to the undying here. Actually trying to stay alive with the Leech Seed, with the Living Armor, and will go down. Legion Commander meanwhile cleaving down the Tombstone after almost killing Garter. Now Beastmaster already got a Necro on Omicron level 1. And that's gonna be first tower of the game, even with a Tree and Protector. Alright, now Tree and Protector being gone on. He will go down really quick to that Necronomicon and Kakor being run down by the Necrocrypt as well. Yes, Lark, all he can do is farm up a bit and then get out of there using his ultimate. There is nothing else he could do. And now there's three people on the bottom lane. Arrow actually connects that to four seconds done and oh my god. The insanity. Rest in peace is Faye. And are they just going to trade? Well, alternate attacks, they secured the tier 2 on top at the exchange of their tier 2 in the middle lane. Of course, mid is the easiest lane to push, so it could could still be worse, but the Warlock goes down, meaning all in all, I'll get a mid tower in exchange, but that's about it. At least top is being pushed in, so they got that going on for themselves. But Pro Dota. Looks like they're planning to push down the bottom lane. Now instead turning up to the middle lane. There we go. Blink dagger into duel. Just like I said, it's so powerful. And alright, Legion Commander going down to the Timbersaw Ultimate. Warlock running for his life as well. The slow is gonna wear off. There we go, Timber Chain. Warlock trying to teleport out. They can't commit a Beastmaster Roar and they will. I mean, at least this way, force the enemy to commit a big ultimate. So teleporting up to try. In a game like this, it just makes so much sense. We're gonna see Bone 7 being jumped on by the Slark. He'll be going down, I'm pretty sure of it. Legion might actually be able to pull a duel out of it, and yes, she will! However, Timbersaw comes in. That's a win for the Mirana. Oh my god. Alternate attacks have just fed away a duel, which is something I'd never expect to see in a ticket game. This is the first for me after six years of cast. Definitely a good choice. They need to turn up the pressure. They need to make something happen in their favor. They can't just be the defenders all the time. And here we go. Blink duel onto the Timbersaw. Warlock ultimate gets dropped, that's the duel, and we're gonna follow it up with a tree and ultimate. Timbers however denying himself, draw range gets dangerously low, and dying already dropped. Carter, he will, he will actually get away, Slark dropping low health, Mirana will kill off the Slark. Now dishing out a shit ton of damage with the draw, alright, oh my god. It's like car crash in slow motion. Alternate attacks. I was so hyped for them, I really liked their draft. <laughs> oh god. This is just... This is just now you're not even going for that. I mean... I'm not saying Agonyms is good, I'm just saying it counts as... First of all, it counts as the Draw Ranger. And second of all, it's incredibly fun to see. It's definitely unexpected enough. No dual win for the Legion there, but so much... So much committed just to pre just to preventing that duel that this fight will go in the favor of alternate attacks. Timbersaw, however, still trying to turn it around, will succeed in at least killing the Magnus. Legion Commander, meanwhile, chasing down the Beastmaster, will not succeed, will have to turn around. Now it's Timbersaw, ver Timbersaw versus the world here. Beastmaster coming back in, trying to help out. And, alright, Nisha is going to turn onto the Timbersaw. 
Blink is almost up. You can chase here. You can chase here. All right. They're actually going to chase. Teleport out. Will succeed. And that's it for the fight. Still a great victory for alternate attacks. It looks like Protoda are trying to commit to the push there. Putting down the, tom the tombstone. Slark and Legion both focusing down the tombstone, which might be a big risk to take. There we go. Duel onto the timber. So if they can't get him down, however, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. There we go. Warlock. I called it. I freaking called it. Warlock Tree and Protector old combo. It's not enough to bring anyone down however. Now Timbersaw will finally fall. Everybody low health, but nobody quite quite dead just yet. Warlock will go down. Everybody else has to retreat to the fountain. This might be a tower dropping. However, fortification is there for alternate attacks. They're turning around, immediately ready to go back in. Slark, however, as long as they're all grouped up, he's gonna have a hard time picking out anyone, but with the Legion coming in! Bone 7, so far the one tanking all of this. Exotic Deer getting in there as well. Bone 7 will be dropping. Nisha trying to arm the toggle through this shit ton of damage. Will be able to survive through it. And with that, looks like Team Alternate Attacks held. I was really unsure whether Proto. Proto knows that they need to push right now or else they're not going to get this tower. And they're doing it. They're pushing. However, on the back lines, we're going to see Bone 7. Gone on once again, Legion Commander Duel coming out into the undi Undying. Nisha can't get any kills with the duel. Only sitting at 10 duel damage. Just as much as, as the Mirana sitting at. Just look at this amazing defense alternate attacks are mounting. Who cares about duel damage where you can make plays like these? They held the tower. Team Pro, Team Pro Dota knew that. Please, Valve, give full fight recap. Thanks. So yeah, Team Pro Dota, hardly any scenario in which you can afford to go Aghanims on Legion Commander where it actually makes sense. This is one of them and they're not doing it. Alright, we're going to see an engage here by Draw Range and Timbersaw. Nisha might be going down here, but however, turns on the BKB, tries to run away, instead going to duel the Timbersaw and that's more dual damage on Nisha. Not only that, but Timbersaw is down. There we go once again with that epic reverse polarity combo with the cleave damage and that's... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Alternate attacks. They finally managed to pull off their combo the way it should work on paper and... All of a sudden the game is completely in their hand. But Mirana ultimate coming out. It got spotted out by alternate attacks here and... We're actually going to see Slark jump on Bone 7. Bone 7 going down here at a really fast rate. Will be able to get away on low health. Slark already got himself a couple of attributes to snowball on. Now Beastmaster actually getting himself a double kill. Legion Commander, however, winning a duel. And Nisha's running at Garter here. However, Legion Commander can get kited around. Like I said, even easier than Urza. Slark, however, he will pick up another kill. Value Ghost Scepter on the Timber Saw, doing so much work here as well. Nisha going down, but Slark able to just take that shift down Garter. Now, decides to, decides to abort his battle against the Timber Saw, and that's just two people alive. Just look at the rough band. Okay. Alright, here we go. Faye going onto the Undying, Undying immediately dropping down. And there we go, reverse polarity onto two. They're both stunned up. Legion Commander coming in, looking for a kill opportunity here. However, Exotic Deer actually ruins it for Nisha. Nisha now going down without finding anyone to duel. Thanks to. Oh my god. Now Faye coming back in, trying to look for. trying to find himself a kill, but will go down as well. That's team. That's team wipe for alternate. against alternate attacks, you get my point. Oh my god. That skewer, that skewer lost them an, an entire team fight pretty much. It's just like you forced have two people away from the Legion Commander at once. But yeah, we're going to see Mirana ultimate here, looking for a kill. They will find the train protect, train protect, just throwing out his ultimate, doing what he can, committing a lead seat on the Mirana, but that's about it. Not quite enough. Timbersaw Mule on the back line of the fight going in. There we go. Duel onto the Timbersaw. He's dropping low at a rapid rate and he will go down. Another win for Nisha. And no matter how strong React Farmer is against this much damage, nobody is resistant. And now Mirana going down as well. Draw range is still trying to get out of there by, by just using Frost Arrows. But Slark on her tail. There we go. Echo Saber slow. 
for the win. Draw range drop down, slicing at 22 attributes. Undying, all he can do is steal, uh, steal a bit of strength. Undying with an Agonims. That could have been the magical switch to get another sort of damage out, but now Legion Commander is gonna pay the price. So many buybacks coming out. There is no way. There is no way around going down here. However, Slark, meanwhile, cleaving through the Beastmaster, making sure that even with the buybacks, Pro Dota cannot turn it around and force another fight. It's generally not too tanky. Even yeah, even at this stage of the game, 18 base armor compared to Pro's 24. All right, here we go. Legion Commander being gone on, but we'll just get four stepped out. Glimmer Cape, just in case, a bit of magic resistance. And all right, Slark whacking, whacking away at the racks. Legion Commander winning another duel. That's everybody going down. Garter buying back immediately on the Grow Ranger, but. Yeah, Timbersaw will manage to get out of there. Garden now coming back in, dishing out damage, Nisha going down, but yet another one duel. And this Legion Commander, if you go down, you're basically like, doesn't matter, got duel, I'm fine. Beastmaster will get his ass saved by the Shadow Blade. But just another buyback forced out, and the Rex, though. Stuff like Kaipi Gaming, they're just this. Like, they actually pick. Compl they they pick like all right never mind we get a duel on Timbersaw no time for stories here that will be a one duel for Nisha more damage and oh my god there we go reverse arrow. polarity into warlock into warlock ultimate and that's a GG guys good game well played it was the best of one as well so sad pro Dota are going to be out of the tournament however that's good news for the ultimate attack fans.